Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, in the wake of East Ies, we fortunately have a stretch of, of dry weather, uh, really no extreme heat or humidity as well in the foreseeable future, at least through the next couple of days and into the weekend. And speaking of uh, temperatures, while they are certainly still running above average again, not into the 90s, uh, but mid and upper 80s here across interior portions of the state and as well along the shoreline 88 New Haven currently, uh, as well as in Willimantic, we've got 83 in Groton and 82 currently in Waterbury. So uh, a westerly breeze inland today has been bringing in some drier air dew point values currently in the 50s and low 60s so um, that's quite comfortable uh, of course for early August and is also going to set the stage for a pretty nice night great weather for sleeping with the windows open especially for so many folks who of course have lost power due to this storm uh, so our eye view from Torrington showing some uh, puffy fair weather clouds those are going to be diminishing as the evening progresses a similar scene coming in from stores as we check out the scene there uh, over part of the Yukon campus and as well into Waterbury uh, a little westerly breeze there at around six miles an hour. So uh, if you're doing a little yard cleanup this evening, the weather cooperates. Uh, the, the lower humidity is thanks to a cold front that's been making its way through southern New England, doing so with very little fanfare behind it. Again, slightly less humid air and slightly cooler air on tap for tomorrow. So tomorrow's not going to be as warm as today. And then that boundary is going to stall offshore. A wave of low pressure is going to ride along it. That's going to bring us perhaps a couple of showers as we close out the week on Friday. So here's a look at dew point values again and drier air uh, making its way southward here into southern New England. So future cast as we step you through this evening, uh, we'll see a mainly clear sky and overnight tonight, uh, mainly clear tomorrow. We'll start off with sunshine and during the course of the afternoon, uh, a few clouds. I think future cast is perhaps overplaying the extent of the cloud cover. But again, that boundary is going to stall offshore. So on Friday, we'll likely see at times more clouds than sun and the chances there, especially throughout coastal and southeastern Connecticut for a couple of showers. In the meantime, tonight again, quite nice upper 50s and low 60s inland mid 60s to start our day tomorrow for our Thursday across Connecticut along the shoreline and then uh, temperatures tomorrow inland low to mid 80s a little bit cooler at uh, area beaches tomorrow under that partly to mostly sunny sky. So on an early morning seven day forecast uh, for Friday looking at the chance for a couple showers so it'll be cooler because of the clouds a low 80s back into the mid 80s on Saturday uh, still a chance for an isolated late day shower or storm Sunday a dry day flirting with 90 inland but then heading into the 90s Monday Tuesday Wednesday of next week and also as we head toward the middle of next week that's when the humidity will become noticeably higher uh, with a chance for a late day storm Tuesday, then perhaps a better chance on Wednesday for some rain and storms. Uh, meantime, for the shoreline this weekend, 83 Saturday, our forecast high for Sunday, 85. Mark, thank you.